Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play The Witcher 3. We are still in the sewers and are trying to break into the prison in Oxenford. And as you may remember, at the end of last episode, Garrett was being kind of uncooperative and he didn't want to dive into that sewer water over there. Uh, after quitting and reloading the game, uh, it worked fine, so I was able to pick up the loot in the water. And we are now able to continue. And I'm pretty sure I have to... Uh, break through this wall over here. So, um, yeah, let's do this. <sighs> Breaks in here. Well, we have some ghouls. That would explain the stench. And it's pretty close quarters. Oh, and we have um, some sort of devourer as well. Let me get away from that guy. One more. There we go. Alright. Um, let me pick up the loot. And we can continue through the sewers. Find the sorceress Margarita. Here, well, my uh, map goes over here, but I mean this doesn't make any sense. There's absolutely nothing in this area, so um, yeah, I'm going to assume I have to climb up here. <laughs> oh, we have some witch hunters here. For bruising. But they don't Hello. seem to notice me. Uh, well, yeah, no, they do. So <laughs> let me uh, finish them off quickly. Alright. Sewer so, key. Um, well, there was a gate that's, that was locked. Suppose I can... Uh, Try to open it with a key? Well, I'm supposed to go through here. Let me see if I can use a sewer key somewhere in the sewers before I continue. Uh huh. Okay. My map doesn't say that this is this is the proper way, but Oh, I think I know. I know where I am. Yeah, I I remember this place. Um I've definitely been here before, but it's not where I need to go, I'm pretty sure of that. So let's just uh, return. To where I came from. And maybe we are going to use it do after all. So maybe this is just a way to get back out of here. <laughs> anyway, let's um go back inside here. Also, what, what are they doing here? They're just killing the people and then throwing them into the sewers? That is not uh, very good. That's poisoning the water. <laughs> uh, Alright, um, let's see what's going on here. My map is still sending pretty mixed signals. Oh, um, well, I guess I 
have to do these guys now. the right way after Margarita. Who? H who's that? Geralt. God, I'm hallucinating. Getting you out of here. No chance. We'll both die in here. Sheila. They captured her first. Her condition's critical. It's pointless. You'll never open it without the key. The warden keeps them with him at all times. His room is upstairs. Be right back. Alright, so I found her and apparently she lives here as well. Oh, that's interesting. Um, but I need to find keys now. Alright, um, let me have a quick look around this place before I continue. Um, I'm not sure this is the right way. It may actually be. But, um, yeah, let me pick up all the loot, and then we will move on. Um, yeah, I can't seem to help these people. Alright, let's, uh, get that key. And, yeah, I assume I have to, have to go up here. Courtyard. Well, okay. Uh, sure. Let's do this. Well, we have quite a few enemies here. This is going to be interesting. And there is a guy with a shield as well. Let me take down the witch hunter first. And I definitely need some additional support here. Alright. Witch Hunter is dead. And now I need to deal with some of the shot shield guys. There we go. And we have some ranged people as well. They are kind of annoying me. many enemies. Maybe I should have found a better way to get over the courtyard because <laughs> this is pretty insane. All right. But I think I'm doing it. And yeah, I need to uh, get rid of these pesky range guys over here. There we go. And we have one more shield guy. Oh, yeah. You want me alive? Well, you're not, not really working on that though, because you're definitely trying to kill me. Let's do this quick. Let's think it's the warden. All right, very nice. The guy that I need to kill for the key, right? <laughs> yeah, maybe there would have been a better way to do this, but um, whatever. No, I killed them all. Let me pick up the loot. And yeah, I do have my keys. So let's uh, go back and free the sorceresses. insisted on coming.
Rita. Sheila. When I get my hands on the sons of bitches. You know, I shan't make it. Hold on. You must hold on. <laughs> I'm dying, Diana. I'm a sorceress. Let me die with dignity. Well, um... Yeah, I suppose I can do it if you really want to. Yen, get Rita out of here. Geralt. Yenna, for once, don't argue with him. I can't pass through the portal with you both. You'll need to get out on your own. Don't like portals anyway. Go. <laughs> There was a time I'd have asked you not to do this. No, you'd never have asked. You're too proud. Well, um, that's the end of Sheila the Tansavel, apparently. Uh, which is kind of ironic because, um, I didn't kill her in the last game. <laughs> oh, well, I. I didn't really have the option to kill her, but I had the option to not help her when she was uh, trapped in the malfunctioning megascope. And apparently it didn't really help her, it uh, only delayed her end for a while. Okay, um, but I still need to get out of here. Of course, I have already killed, um, well, most of the guards. I think there still was one hiding somewhere. Plus, what's actually going on in here? Um, well, apparently, more guards. Yep, more guards. Well, they didn't stand much of a chance. Um, he's still, he's still aggro. There may be someone outside. Let me, yep, there's someone outside. All right, let's kill that guy too. And, and now I need to get out of here. But um, I didn't actually get a chance to look at this place. Well, nothing too interesting in here apparently. Some loot. All right. Um. Guess we can leave then. So um. This seems to be the main gate, but apparently I'm. Hard shot. Trying. Need to find another way out. Yeah, I need to find another way. My map points in that direction. So let's see what we can find over here. Um, before I go over there, let me have a look at this room. Oh, we have some random loot. And, ooh, what is this? List of prisoners. Um, let me have a look at that. Prisoners of Dayred, page 258. <laughs> Black de Vilmon imprisoned the third of Birke for use of magic. Admitted no guilt despite exhaustive interrogation. Died during questioning on the seventh of Blade. Arthur de Fleester. Uh, didn't we talk about this guy not too long ago? I think he was um, a lover of Philippa. 
Imprison the fifth of Birke for use of magic admitted his guilt. The tenth of Birke sentenced to death by Pye burned at the stake at the eleventh of Birke. Well, they're not fooling around. <laughs> he admitted his guilt on the tenth and he was burned on the eleventh. But yeah, he was the one who uh, turned uh, Philippa into an owl or put the Dimeridian shackles on her and after he was killed by the witch hunters um, they auctioned off his estate, including the owl. Margarita locks until imprisoned the sixth of Birk for use of magic has admitted no guilt. Recommendation enhanced interrogation. Kath imprisoned the sixth of Birk for illicit soothsaying has admitted no guilt. Sentenced to death by Pyre. Well, apparently it doesn't really matter whether they admit it to it or not. Andomiel, elven witch of the forest, imprisoned the sixth of Birk. Sentenced to death by Pyre for cursing the residents of Oxenford has admitted no guilt. Zilona, sorceress true name, true name unknown, imprisoned seventh of Berg for use of magic and aiding other fugitives, sentenced to death by Pyre. Shepek, imprisoned the seventh of Berg for printing and distributing pamphlets slandering the Redanian nation, admitted his guilt, sentenced to death by hanging. Vat Dwarf, imprisoned the seventh of Berg for tearing down wanted posters of witches, Admitted his guilt, sentenced to lose his right hand. <laughs> Gregski, imprisoned the eighth of Berg for harboring fugitives. Admitted his guilt, sentenced to death by hanging. Hunt, true name unknown, imprisoned the eighth of Berg for pestering elegant dames. Sentenced to one month in a dark cell. <laughs> uh, that's an interesting thing. Donham, imprisoned the eighth of Berg for chiromancy. Has admitted no guilt. Recommendation enhanced interrogation. Dragonbird, true name unknown, imprisoned the ninth of Berg. Accused of practicing numerology, admitted her guilt, sentenced to death by Pyre. Second child, elven diviner, crazed, imprisoned the ninth of Berg for inciting discord and hatred for the church. Appears comatose, uncommunicative. Possible ruse, recomm recommendation, outlast, wait for response. Maybe this is another one who tries to escape by faking his death. Corelia, imprisoned the 10th of Berg for allegiance to Scoyatel, admitted her guilt using crude language, sentenced to death by hanging. Highland Tommy, refused to reveal true name, imprisoned the 11th of Berg for assault, sword in hand, admitted his guilt, sentenced to death by decapitation. The Seeker, true name unknown, imprisoned the 11th of Berg on suspicion of spying, recommendation enhanced interrogation using hot irons. Imperative, learn identity of prisoner's operator. Hmm. Man of Navarre, imprisoned the 12th of beer, convicted for many bold home and shop burglaries, <laughs> has begun strike to protest his innocence. Recommendation, let him starve. <laughs> Petra Schiele, imprisoned the 12th of beer for practice of herbalism and publication of banned utterances, admitted her guilt, saddened to death by pyre. But, um... Hang on a second. Where's Margarita? Um, let's just continue reading. Sid Spiker, imprisoned the 11th of Berg, denounced by neighbor for use of magic, acquitted of charges and released. Reptile Man, true name unknown, imprisoned the 13th of Berg for engaging in many bloody rows. Remains unconscious due to sustained head injuries. Recommendation hospitalize. <laughs> Saduka, Nilfgaardian, true name unknown, member of the elite palace guard of the em Emperor of Nilfgaard. Imprisoned on the 13th of Berg as enemy of the realm. Held under close watch pending arrival of military intelligence personnel. <laughs> Maybe that's the soldier that we uh, freed from the artifact compression. <laughs> Nas, halfling from Knotweed Meadow, imprisoned the 14th of Berg for tax evasion and extortion. Has admitted no guilt. Recommendation enhanced interrogation. Momotech. Imprison the 14th of Berg for possession of and use of magic amulets, weak of mind. Recommendation, fit to assist in guarding other convicts. Please note not to be trusted with sharp implements. Alright. Well, that's a very, a very impressive, very impressive list indeed. 
But um, yeah, Margarita is on here, but according to the list, she was uh, captured first. But didn't she just say that they brought in Sheila first? That's why she was in such a bad state. But uh, whatever, they're both on the list anyway. So, well, this was an interesting and rather depressing read. Alright, um, I think there's nothing else for me in this place. So let's uh, get the heck out of here. Um, no, I think I probably have to go over here, yes? Yeah, I can jump down here. Um, is there anything noteworthy over here? Well, um, some loot. Okay, let's, let's get out of here. Okay, meet Jennifer and the lot of sorceresses at Dandelion's Inn. Which means um, I need to get back to Novigrad. Uh, let's take a fast travel point and do this. Oh, so many soldiers on the street these days. Alright, let's get back to the inn. Wonderful. Happiness will come today. Right, make no rights. Teach you a bigger rat than the street for its knee lights. Um I guess they're upstairs somewhere. And uh, still further upstairs, apparently. Geralt! What is it? Nothing just yet, but something's afoot. Philippa and Margarita want to speak to me. And, um, what's the problem? Then talk to them. Not like they're out to bite you. If they do, I'll bite back. So what's the problem? I bet they have plans for me. And they're deigning to inform me of them. Hm? Well, if you're apprehensive about it, I can come with you. Not a conversation you're likely to avoid. I'll go with you if you want. Mm. They'll weigh their words more carefully with you there. Wouldn't be so sure. But two heads are better than one. Let's get this over with. You wish to speak? To you, not to Geralt. Geralt stays, or we both leave. Let him stay, Phil. He'd learn of it all anyways, eventually. <clears throat> Fine then. So long as he does not interrupt. Huh. Well, I don't intend to. I'm all ears. Think of me as part of the decor. The Lodge once had great plans for you. Important plans. Surely you remember. You were to complete your studies and become one of us. Unfortunately, that did not come to pass. We intend to revive the Lodge, and we renew our offer. You must join us. We are saddened our dear Sheila will not join in this endeavor, but the circumstances preclude any prolonged mourning. What is your decision? Will you join us? As before, I'm to marry some princeling and become your puppet. You were a child then. And we misjudged the situation. This time we offer you a partnership. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if this is really a good deal. I mean, the Lodge is not as powerful as it used to be and joining the Lodge may actually, um, you know, be a danger to you. The Lodge of Sorceresses has been outlawed throughout the continent. Joining them means facing persecution, always being on the run. Kings die, realms fall, but magic endures. 
realize, please, that you were made for great things. Work with us and you shall achieve them. Just as soon as we teach you to control your power, channel... I have Avalark for that. You allow this. Do you truly believe his intentions are pure? Hmm. No, I don't, but in the end it's serious decision. I don't trust him, I don't trust you. But that doesn't matter. Siri decides. Sages invariably have hidden agendas. Altruism is simply not part of their constitution. You're a tool in his hands, even if you don't see it. We will assure you knowledge and protection, but you shall be your own rudder, captain and ship. And unlike Avalach, we can promise you this. We don't expect you to commit now. Think it over, what you've heard, what you feel. We will speak when you're ready. If that is all, then... Let's get some fresh air. <laughs> well, that was an interesting conversation. So? I don't know. Don't really want to talk about it. I'm going for a walk. I hope she's... She'll be fine. She's tougher than we think. You ought to visit Avalok. He wished to see you, apparently. Well, I already did, and I think he's waiting for me. So, I definitely have to do this um, next. What, my peach? Um, but I mean, we have a bunch of people in this inn, or maybe I can actually talk to some of them. Okay, Triss is still here. Yes, Count. Um, yeah, this is probably just the old dialogue from the last time she was in Novigrad. But this is probably the time when I was supposed to actually finish the statuette quest and not uh, in between that other mission. So I could just ask her here and then we would uh, decompress the statue. But uh, fair enough. So long, Triss. So, I don't know, let's see if we can find any of the other guests. Uh, well, Siri is actually here and not going for a walk after all. Got a minute? Of course. Well, we have some new dialogue options here. Um, yeah, tell me what you did before you returned. Once you'd left Yen and me on the Isle of Avalon, what happened to you? What did you do? I traveled through time, space, different worlds. I saw houses of glass, ran with unicorns at the world's end, even lived in an undersea kingdom for a time. Huh. <laughs> Freedom. Always had a taste for it. I still do. So why'd you return? <sighs> it was too much. I almost drowned in it. When everything is possible, it quickly becomes a lot less alluring. Alright, I can understand that. But I mean, this may still be an option, you know, if you uh, want, you know, away from all this pressure and this burden and, you know, all the people that have plans for you, you could just, you know, go to some other world and, you know, be free and live your life without, you know, being bound to your blood or whatever. So what it's like to travel between worlds? Traveling between worlds? What's it like? It's... nice. Difficult? It was at first, but in time it became automatic, like riding a horse. Bet a lot of mages would love to learn to do it. I'm certain they would. But Avalark claims they've neither the knowledge nor talent. He spent four centuries learning to do it, yet can still only find and pass through pre-existing portals. I go wherever I please, whenever I please. Well, this sounds nice. And how does Aridin locate you? Aridin's located you time and again. How's that work? When I pass between worlds, I create a kind of shockwave. Anyone properly trained can sense it. That's how Avalach explains it at any rate. He can do it too. So you shouldn't actually ever use your power. It's not like that. The impulse is stronger the longer my voyage. On short hops, the disturbance is practically imperceptible. All right, I understand. Well, uh, so long. I should go. All right, we'll talk later. Um, yeah, I don't know, let me 
have a look at the other rooms in this uh, establishment. We may be able to find more people, like um, a bunch of sorceresses. Geralt. Okay, she still doesn't have any new dialogue. Thanks, Anne. See you later. But what about these two ladies? How are you feeling? Better. I thank you. If you'd not arrived in time, things might have ended considerably worse. I am your debtor. Thank Yennefer. It was her idea, her plan. Hmm. So how did the witch hunters nab you? Thought Margarita Loantil would be among the last to get nabbed by witch hunters. Were it dependent solely on me, of course I would have. But you forget I had my students to consider. I knew the hunters would eventually reach Aratosa. It was but a matter of time. So when I heard Triss was organizing escapes to Kavir, I saw no reason to hesitate. I gathered my novices and we rode here to Novigrad. Sadly, we were caught and thrown in Deira before I could contact Triss. Didn't see any other sorceresses in there with you? Because they'd already been executed. Burned. Alive. One after the other. The most talented girls in the North. Radovid was saving me for last. Hm. Uh, you'd think uh, he had it in for Philippa, most of all, but I mean, uh, he wasn't able to find Philippa, so <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah, what happened to Aratusa? If you're here, what's become of Aratusa? The day I arrived in Novigrad, I received a message from Virute Ekati. A short, curt note. School overrun by Redanians. The libraries burn. Handful of pupils fled with Nina Vivero. The rest are dead. It is over. Later I learned priests of the Eternal Fire stood amidst the Academy's ruins, promising the rabble that such a punishment awaited all mages and traitors. <laughs> so, quite obviously, this is no longer just a thing that's happening in Novigrad and uh, is something that is, you know, perpetrated primarily by the witch hunters who belong technically to the uh, Church of the Eternal Fire. But, I mean, Radovet is clearly uh, supporting this and he's sending Redanians out to other parts of Redania to hunt witches and stuff like that. So this witch hunt is not just um, uh, isolated to Novigran anymore. All right, farewell. Farewell, Rita. So, um, I saw Philippa in here too. Maybe we can talk to her. Well, what is it? No need to thank me, Philippa. Always glad to save your ass. Yeah. You're welcome. You it's like the second game. time. That is why you saved me. Um, oh yeah. Where's Saskia nowadays? Where's Saskia now? She managed to free herself of your spell? <laughs> I lost control of her when the war broke out. I've no notion where she is. I know you used her, but couldn't escape the impression that you actually cared for her in some way. Really? Really? Um, also, I think Garrett is starting to have amnesia again because he lifted the spell that afflicted Saskia. <laughs> At least uh, he did so in my place. As you remember uh, last game, I decided to save Saskia and I lifted the curse and she was fine at the end. But I mean, this right here, this is an issue that I will discuss in greater detail after the game. As you know, I always make some sort of verdict video at the end of the game. And this is definitely something that I um, have to talk about. Um, I'm not going to do it here now in great detail because I would have to go off on a long tangent. And this is not the time for a long rant. But um, suffice to say, you can't help but notice that on occasion the game um, does not... Not only does it not acknowledge what you did in the previous games, but it pretends that you did the exact opposite. Um, like in this game, Geralt wouldn't have to ask what happened to Saskia's spell because he lifted it himself. And it, it seems that this little dialogue here was not really necessary at all. I mean, it didn't even give us any information on what happened to Saskia. So why include it? Why include this uh, dialogue that is specific to only a very um, specific 
uh, decision from the uh, previous game. But like I said, this would digress too much now, so I will talk about this um, after the game in my verdict video. And yeah, you want a Dijkstra killed? Way back when, did you really send assassins after Dijkstra? You believe I? I do not remember we were once lovers. Maybe it's just me, but I think you'd consider that in itself to be reason enough. Actually, I've long wondered why you parted, quarreled even. <sighs> you see, Geralt, there are those who keep politics separate from their private <laughs> lives, and those who do not. Which one was Dijkstra? The more boring of the two. <laughs> okay. Um, well, anyway, thanks. Farewell. Alright, so I talked to these ladies here. Um, and this room seems to be empty. And I believe upstairs we only have Avalak. And he's not actually here because he's waiting for me. Um, but uh, let me have a quick look anyway. Yeah, this is Avalak's room. And he's obviously not around. So I think, um,. I'm actually going to end the episode and uh, let me have well, a look at my journal. So I still need to do the quest for Avalak and the one for Dijkstra, which is about uh, the assassination of King Radovid. Um, yeah, I guess I should at least hear what they have to say before I make my decision on that account. And, as you know, I still have a few um, side quests or contracts and other stuff that I want to finish. And I think this may actually be a good opportunity to do so. So in the next episode I will finish my contracts and some other minor things that I want to finish. And then we will go back and uh, get these two things done, I suppose. But yeah, um, my, my quest journal is cleaning up pretty nicely, so it's probably uh, not that much longer anymore. But yeah, uh, for today, let's end the episode here. Tomorrow we will have most likely a final episode with finishing side content. And then we will go back to the maybe final part of the main story. Anyway, as usual, thank you for watching and see you again next time.